Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Orlando Raw and today we're going to make something very exciting. What are we going to make? What are we going to make? We're going to make these. What are these? What is this? Okay, this is rice paper and we're going to make spring rolls, so stay tuned. Okay, what do we need to make our spring rolls? We need our rice paper, and we need cabbage, we need our carrots, and white onions, golden onions. And we need our olive oil, a bit of olive oil to fry it up, and flour to close and seal the spring rolls, soy sauce, and a bit of salt. So let's get into it. Okay, first things first, let's prepare the inside, the vegetables. So grab your cabbage and cut this in long, thin strips. Okay, just make sure everything is washed up first. Okay, long, thin strips. I'm using half a medium cabbage, three carrots and two onions. Okay, once you cut those long strips and they're pretty long, okay, they're a bit too long, I'm going to just divide that. And three, so the shorter. Okay, so all that is all separate. Okay, next thing, grab your carrots and cut those in half. All of those in half, so we can put them on the board and they're steady. Cut your carrots in half. Now that they're cut in half, place those on the board. Okay, so these are pretty long too, so we're gonna divide them, but first, we're going to cut some long strips, so just go very fine long strips, okay, on all your carrots. Okay, just show you that. Okay, so I cut that pretty thin, but it's still wide. I'm going to re-divide these after, so just to show you. There you go, we want them about that size. Now, they're pretty long, and I'll cut those in half, so let's do that with all of the carrots okay so I cut all the vegetables up okay so the carrots are really thin look at that okay and the onions are really thin they're about the same size and the cabbage is a bit wider because that'll get cooked up and the cabbage melts a bit so that's okay just as long as they're the same length because you don't want to have spaghetti inside your uh, spring rolls so let's go cook this stuff up in the wok okay in a hot wok start putting in olive oil i'm using olive oil because it's more healthier they usually use frying oil but i like olive oil it tastes better also okay, once the oil starts heating up start adding in your onion okay stir that around okay once that heats up start adding in your carrots Stir that around, mix that up, let that cook up. As the carrots soften up, add in your cabbage. I add a pinch of salt and stir that up. Okay, add some soy sauce and stir this up. Okay, so once the ingredients is off the stove, grab one of these sifters and put your ingredients in so we can get rid of any excess juices. Okay, so just squash that down with a spoon just to get rid of excess juice because we want it a bit dry. Otherwise, in our spring rolls, they're going to mush up. Okay, you need a damp cloth, just uh, not that water comes out, just squeeze all the water out, just has to be damp. And you grab your rice paper and you place it on top, like that, just flatten that out, and that'll soften up the rice paper. And turn it on the other side. Okay, so you grab the spring roll paper, the rice paper, and it's now been wet a bit, so it's manageable okay grab your 
vegetables, put those inside on one side of the spring roll. Okay. There you go. Now, we're going to roll this up, rolling it towards us and making it roundish. Okay, there you go. Nice. And that is like a half moon. See that? Okay. So how do we close this off? That's when we use our flour and our water. So I'm going to grab the spatula and place it in the water and place it in the flour. Okay, and I'm going to put this on the ends. Okay, like it's like glue, just a bit more water there. Put your vegetables inside. Okay, both both sides. Okay, so even if you see a bit of flour, it doesn't matter, just grab a bit of water there. And now that we've done that, I'm going to put some flour on the half moon. Okay, with water. It would be a ideal to use a brush. I haven't got a brush at the moment, so I'm using my spatula, it's the same. Okay, so once I've done that, and you can feel these, these uh, rice papers, not very soft, that's okay. And I just bend it over the sides, okay? The two sides like this, okay? It's like glue and it holds them together. So I'll just show you that. Okay, like that, okay? So now, I'm going to keep on rolling the spring roll until we get to the end. And it's like that now. Okay, you see it? And I've got the lip. I'm going to just put a bit of water there so the flour acts like glue. Okay, and just roll it over. And there you go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's how you make your spring rolls. Let's get into another one. Okay, so here's your paper which has been damped on the towel and it's softer. So I'm gonna grab my vegetables and place them on one side. Okay, like this. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, fill them up, really nice. Okay, so you have a lot of vegetables on one side. Okay, so just show you that, like that, okay. So, now I'm going to roll it over towards me and roll it round, there you go, until you get about halfway, like this, okay? Now, I'm going to use my spatula with flour and water, with the flour, I'm going to grab the flour and water and mix that up, and it becomes like a glue, and I'm going to put it on the sides, okay? on both sides, flour and water. And just wet that up a bit with the water. Okay, if you have a like a brush, it would be easier. Okay, so just wet that up. And I'm gonna put a bit of flour on the lip in the front. Okay, so like that. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you see the board's messy. I'm gonna fold over the edges like this, one, and two. So now that I've folded over, it's sort of squarish. Let's have a look at that. See that? It's squarish. Now I'm going to keep on rolling towards me. Okay? And it starts closing off. Okay? Like this. Okay? Like that. Okay? So now let's wet the tip of your spring roll because we're going to close it off and do the last roll. There you go, and there's your spring roll. Look at that, beautiful, square, okay? And with the flour, it's like glue. And that's quite close, quite tuck, so that's very nice. Okay, so here's our spring rolls ready to get fried up. Okay, in our wok, add some frying oil and let that heat up. I'm using a skewer. And as soon as you see the wood is starting to fry up, that means it's ready to put in your Okay, it's ready to put in your spring rolls. OK, 
Okay, two new spring rolls. So they cook evenly. And they start to harden up. Okay, so I've got some sweet and sour and even chili sauce for these spring rolls. So let's taste these. Okay, so I'm grabbing it with my hands. Look at that. Give it a crunch. Wow. I'm going to dip it in my sauce. This is a beautiful sauce. Mmm. Wow. So magic chopsticks. Let's go in and dig in. Grab one of those. Put it in your hot chili sweet and sour sauce. Wow. Mmm. That is excellent, and it's homemade. Wow. With the carrot, the cabbage, and the onion in there. Mmm. Okay, so excellent. Thumbs up. Thumbs up with the spring rolls. These are so good. Wow. Look at that inside. I made them cool down for the video, but if they them really hot. Mmm, that yeah. is beautiful. Wow. Spring rolls made at home, so thumbs up for the video and hit the notification bell. Subscribe to Orlando Raw.